Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sitting at my desk in front of my computer and today's video is going to be PIDs for the torque app to do diagnostics for the batteries on Prius, uh, Prius hybrid system. So not just batteries but anything basically on the hybrid system. I'm not even sure how to do it but I'm going to try to explain to you guys how I manually put the uh, PIDs into the torque app so and obviously I'm not going to be able to connect this to the car because I don't have a Gen 3 anymore I only have Gen 2 two cars right now so and those are basically the same way so it's doesn't really matter technically so first of all what you're going to need obviously is the I have a link here that's pinned on the very top of the comments uh, if you click on that you will basically the parameters for every uh, for every sensor that you would want to check on the car so and there's quite a bit of them let's see how many looks like we got 228 of them so that's a lot of uh, sensors so now there is a way to somehow grab this file it's a CSV file and put it in your phone in, in the correct folders in your torque app where you should be able to just access it but I have for some reason not figured that out and what I just did is I manually found what I wanted and then I manually entered it into the torque app to at least see what I needed to see so this is kind of a, a painful way to do it but if you're desperate and you need it this is what I can show today so oh yeah another thing that I forgot to say is you will need the paid version of the torque I think it's like five dollars or something not sure the pro version or whatever it's called so I don't think the free version lets you do this um, input here so but anyways you're gonna click on this little gearbox here which is the menus and you're gonna click on settings and then you're gonna click right down here where it says manage extra PIDs and sensors and so this is what I have right now this is all the extras that I put in there I guess or actually no I'm sorry this is actually from the gen 2 also because gen 2 is different so gen 3 and gen 2 are mixed right here with me so it's a little bit confusing but when you first open this you shouldn't have anything in here most I don't think so should be empty here's how you do you just click on those little dots on the side there and you add a custom PID and so this is where you fill out this little form here so let's find something that we want to add okay let's just go with 107 which is mg1 temperature so here are the parameters that you'll have to enter in here so basically what you're going to do is you're going to give this guy a a name first so the name we'll just call it mg1 so however you write it, that's how you will see it in the menus it says right there. And then here is how you will see it in the display. So you just put MG. I guess here we can put temperature. Alright guys, so the next thing would be the mode, which is 2161. So that's where this goes. See the mode and PID? So, so 21... 61 goes there. So the next part is the equation. Anyways, you type it in just like that. Um, it's all kind of everywhere, so you got to go back and forth. Doesn't really matter what order you fill it out, but here it is the equation. <clears throat> you know, it kind of gives you uh, how to fill that out. So, space five, I think. Alright, guys, so we put that in. Looks good. Uh, I guess we can do the minimum and maximum value here. So minimum I think is, let's see. Yeah, minimum is E and maximum is F. So let's go back to 107. So we got minimum is 1 or negative 40 and maximum 250. Negative 40. And the maximum will be... 250 so these are just parameters the the gauge can go by later as it reads the values and then we got unit type 
which is what this is, which is G, so this is 107 is a F for Fahrenheit. So I'm going to put an F in here, I guess capitalized. So that's pretty much it. The only thing we have left is the header. So the header is the last one, so it's 7.00E plus 02. So, so that's where you put that in, in the header area. All right guys, so we're pretty much done filling everything out. So the only thing that I need to tell you about this, um, I remember um, over here, these values here, they're, they don't, you don't write them in like that. They won't work, I think. So what you gotta do is you just gotta put the three letters, like seven E two. So, <clears throat> so that's the, I think like these, see that right there? Yeah, this, this actually needs to be the same way too. So. Anyways, that's the only thing that's different about this. So once you fill all that out correctly, you know, if you're connected to your car, you can actually test it right there, right then. But if you're done, you just push OK. And it goes back to your list of all the PADs that you have. So you should have none if you didn't install any yet. But so this is basically a manual input. So if we go all the way down, we'll have our the 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 MG1 temperature here actually displayed on the very bottom so the last thing you put in will be on the very bottom so if we click on that um, and then click edit we can see that all our stuff is still here so anyways guys it's not too hard uh, you know it will if you need a lot of them it will take a while but this is how you manually get it so um, you obviously for the battery you would obviously need all these right here. So, all these blocks. So, it's actually pretty simple now that you know how to do it. So, just on here, just put 7, E, and 2. And don't use anything else. And uh, it should work. So, go to a blank page here, any blank page, then hold it. Add a display. So I always use the half needle, and then here's all the uh, stuff that's available. So let's see if we can find our MG1. All right, guys. So we have two MG1 temperatures, I guess, because I do have a generation two and a generation three. So one of these is uh, the one I just installed. So, anyways, let's think it's the lower one here. Then it's gonna ask you. Uh, what size? I don't remember what size I use. Let's we'll just go with medium. No, that's too big. I think I use small, but in any case, and here it is. Anyways, guys, you can configure your themes and all that stuff, uh, you know, wherever you want. So just play around with the whole thing and you'll figure it out. Um, so it's not too hard technically. So there's plenty of options here to uh, to play with. So. Anyway, there's settings here, and once you go into the real time, you know, you can play with your gauges here, too. So, uh, you don't have to have this theme, you can choose any other theme you want. So, you just go to the settings, and somewhere here we go themes, choose a theme. So, there's plenty of stuff to uh, pick from here. So, um, I'm hoping this is enough information to get you going. So, hopefully, you can figure out how to import the whole file into here. So uh, I'm sorry that I can't help with that, but hopefully the manual input makes sense and you can do it. And uh, you can have, uh, you know, your own custom PIDs installed into the phone. It's not the best option. It should be just as easy as a import them and click them in. But, you know, if that doesn't work, you can go the manual route. So this is the manual route. So anyways, guys, hope this helps. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Check out my Prius high voltage battery repair videos. And uh, if you want to see more stuff, hit that subscribe button. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.